Hello, I'm back, back in India. Can't believe it. Got another month left here on my visa. So I just arrived last night um, from Sri Lanka and it feels good to be back. I was a bit apprehensive to be honest because uh, where I'm going, Varanasi, the next few days is gonna be about 41 degrees, but I'm in Chennai and it's about 37. Still hot, but not as humid. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. You wanna wave? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, and yeah, it feels good to be back, I have to say. So the plan for today is to go get a SIM card because honestly, having a SIM card in the countries that you're traveling, like India and Sri Lanka, is so handy and so helpful. Use the maps all the time. Also, I need to go and book this train to Varanasi and find some breakfast. Um, so I'll take you through the day and let's see what we get up to. It does feel good to be back, just the madness. I don't know, this country just makes me feel alive. It's proper travel, right? and Sri Lanka to me was a very holiday kind of place. The noises, the smells, the sounds. I didn't realize how much I actually have missed India. to cross the road is an absolute nightmare. Oh, and this place just makes me feel alive. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Hooey! Had to find some shade because uh, after walking for about 20 minutes, I'm trying to find the Vodafone shop, but it's getting sweaty now. I'm so used to it. But I really don't think you can prepare yourself for India. Everyone says that Sri Lanka is like a starter pack and you know, you go to Sri Lanka, you're kind of prepared for India, which I don't think is right at all. In Sri Lanka, it's more beaches and, you know, hiking and trekking. And India is just so full on. There's so much going on all the time. It, yeah, as I said earlier, it makes you feel so alive and it's great to be back. Now, I don't know what it is. There's something about this place. I feel like I'm back, like I've got my, tra my travel bag, my travel bag, my travel bug back and I'm excited again. That might change in a week or so when I'm in Varanasi sweating all the time. But right, I'm gonna carry on and go to the Vodafone store. <laughs> oh, see, they love it. I think that was cigarettes they're making, literally just from the leaves that are falling from the trees. Just dried up leaves and making the tobacco. Printer is not working. Okay. Nothing is ever quite as simple as it should be. I'm now going to go and get a, um, my picture printed off somewhere because their print is broken, obviously. What's for? Crikey. G'day. I'm Steve Irwin. Holy smokes, that was too close. That was just for a uh, little passport picture. I thought I was doing a photo shoot. You see the lights and all the equipment just for a picture like that. <laughs> Wow, after about an hour, finally sorted the phone out, which is good. And it's now two o'clock and I haven't eaten anything all day or drunk anything, so I'm on my way to get some food, but I don't know, there's nothing close around which is local. So I'm gonna have to have a little bit of a scout around. Okay, I lied, I did find somewhere local to eat. <laughs> So I've got a chai coming and two bread on this, I think. Uh, okay. And my water, thank yeah, you. Thank Cheers. You. I've got chai oh, and omelette. Okay. <laughs> the chef. <laughs> the master. <laughs> that meal just cost me 92 rupees, which was two egg omelettes and something, and a bottle of water and a little chai. 
so I put on the screen how much that was, but ridiculously cheap anyway. But now I'm going to try and go to uh, Chennai Central Station and book my train ticket for Saturday. So I'm going to try and get an Uber there now. I need to get some cash out, but I've never used this bank before, Kenara or something. So hopefully it doesn't swallow up my card. I normally get about 20,000 rupees out, which should last me roughly two weeks, which comes to about around 15 pounds a day, just so people know my kind of budget. But sometimes I go over, sometimes I go under. I'm not very strict. I'm not trying to budget myself hard at all because it's so cheap. Let's hope it bloody works. I just remembered you can only get 10,000 out at a time. I've just tried to take 20,000 out at once, but it doesn't work. So you have to do 10,000 and take another 10 out. Transaction cancelled. I've just booked myself a uh, Uber tuk-tuk. It's only one minute away and it's going to cost me about 100 rupees. Hello? Uber? He's an absolute nut job, this China. <laughs> He's crazy, Jesus. Huh? He drives so fast. <laughs> he loves it. Can't find the ticket office. This is literally the 7th or 8th ATM I'm trying now. That train station was madness. So I'm going to try and book it online because I don't know how, I, how I'm going to book the train. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm going to try now and get cash out for the 8th time. <laughs> Everything is such a challenge in this country, but I love it. Finally, finally. Now that's a big... Oh. <laughs> that is a big bit of watermelon. What a day. God, it feels good to be back. And I know I've said that already quite a few times. In the end, I didn't even book my train ticket. I couldn't. I finally got some cash out. Um, but the train lines were massive. So I've come back to try and book it online if I can. Now I have a SIM card and an Indian number again. Hopefully, I'll be able to book it. But my train's not until Saturday. So I've got two days to try and book it. But I just forgot how much of a challenge this country is. And how intense it is, everyone's just staring at you. I know that, that's a weird thing to enjoy, but I just enjoy being the only tourist and Westerner around. In Sri Lanka, there was people on the holiday and there was just so many Westerners and tourists everywhere. Simplest things here, it's such a challenge. And I don't know, I guess I missed that. Sri Lanka was just, hopeless doesn't sound like up my ass, but it was too easy. It was almost too easy. I was just jump on a bus. I would just walk into a shop, get what I want. And India is just the complete opposite. You have to be patient, which I'm definitely learning to be patience for sure. You have to be patient, you have to be understanding and just be calm and realize that <laughs> it's India. So everything's done on their time and everything is a lot more complicated than it should be. But for some reason, I absolutely love that. Anyway, I'm gonna finish the watermelon. Tastes a bit dodgy to me. I'm gonna finish that up, end the video here. And hopefully, in the next two or three days, I'll be on the train to Baranasi, which is 37 hours. So I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, and I hope you enjoyed the madness of India again, because I sure did. Maybe in a week, again, I'll probably reg be regretting saying that, and I'll be wanting to go back to Sri Lanka for a bit of chill time at a beach, but it feels like I've just arrived back in India, but I'm more comfortable here. So, so far, so good. Good to be back.